Hello there, Beard here. Bless. Give him a good home. So good afternoon, handy listeners, such as you are. Welcome back to this uh, second of the second wave. I am joined as ever by Mr. Panzer Harris. Hello, Ben. Hello. <laughs> good. Connor is currently in the motherland, having his moose bothering license renewed. Uh, so we shall carry on without him, which, yeah, is preferable. Um, so we are here to talk about a young man who was revealed over the course of the weekend at the British National. So this one, not a great deal of surprise for everyone. Um, so we'll have a little look at Flea. Now, the whole hashtag Flea to a good home was one I was very behind in Brewers. Uh Obviously, my principal focus for the Free Cities drafts was Gaffer. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Uh, I, th- I think there may have been uh, one or two links. It. Yeah, may have <laughs> mentioned it. Um, but I was very, very happy to see Flea go to the Brewers, if somewhat by default. <laughs> um, it's interesting to like. I was like his with his association with farmers. I was sure he was from Piet, but he's not. He's from Indar. He's from the same place as Corsair. Um, but looking at now, Brewers are a team that I've played quite a lot. Um, not quite as much. It tends to be. It tends to flip between the two. Who have I played more, Morticians or Brewers? So I've tend to play them very, very closely. So there's a lot to like here from a Brewers perspective. There's also a lot that I'm not so keen on. Um, Twenty health and three one defensive stats. That's pretty standard. Yeah, that's a bit farmery, if anything, that particular health pool. Yeah, which is cool. Like, um, mm. I, I like the little nod, as it were, to um, his farmer heritage. Um, a 5 8 move is faster than most. Like, yeah, Lucky's 5 8. And then you've got players like Mash that are 4 6. Most people, like, Friday's a 6 8, but she's got Shadow Like. Um, most people are 5 7 in that kind of range. Um, mm. So, uh, and that's without times called, which of course is always on the pitch because Spigot. Um, so, a little speedier than most. Um, I'm trying to remember what new tapper is. Yeah, 5 7. Um, he's got his tack is longer than his playbook. That's all you really need to know as a brewer. As long as that, <laughs> as long as that's true, it things are fine. Um, he has one damage on one, two damage on two, and this is that's again normal for a, for playing a brewer. You expect low momentous damage, low down. You know we're not butchers. We don't have big red numbers the whole way through. What I would then expect to see is a momentous spike damage at the top which isn't there, which is interesting. Um, And then his momentous row is fine. Uh, A push, a knockdown push, and a tackle push. Those are great things. They're all very brewery, low access to knockdowns. (coughs) Excuse me. Um, And we've got some pushes. Um, The character play of Go Get It, which is essentially mascot Red Fury. Why it isn't called Red Furry, I don't know. Uh, assist for some scum and quaff. Important to note that is assist for scum and quaff, not scum and quaff give him assist. So he gives, they give him more damage, not the other way around. Get over here again for scum and quaff, and a heroic play which gives uh, a mascot, um, well, gives scum or quaff an additional two tack. Mm-hmm. This all looks fine. I kind of having listened to a lot of the um, a lot of the chats, um, I think particularly at the play test, I think it was Bryce. Apologies, he'll slaughter me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was him. He said the kind of the the original design space for Flea was that Flea maybe he's not as strong as a fully fledged squaddy, mm. or what he ter- but he turns the mascot into a fully fledged squaddy. Yeah. Um, and I can see, and I've seen a lot of, of course, with you know the. This was spoiled at um, 
British Nat, so it's been in the player base's hands for a few days. And it's always interesting when that happens for me, because of course my embargo has been lifted now, so I've not been able to publicly yeah. say anything, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, there is sometimes, you know, as a media a member of the media team, I get to see things and talk about things before other people. And then on the converse, there's stuff like this where it's the other way around. Um so like the most convincing case I've seen for him is ramping up Quoth. Um <laughs> yep. Because with Quoff, Quoff is tack three, so with um, Flea engaging, he's tack four. Tack four with a too long playbook is fantastic, and every success you get with Quoff is a push. So, you know, you can equate him into an awful lot of pushes, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yes, you already have Decimate doing that, in my mind, more effectively in Guild. Um but having multiple sources of the same thing isn't bad. Yeah. And if um, it goes wrong with Quaff, you're probably less bothered because you get yeah. plus one tack out of it with Love Creature. Yeah, And you might exactly. concede a point, not two. Yeah. The other one that I've seen a lot of is people talking about Scum, <laughs> where you've got a tack five, let's call it tack um, six under commanding aura, plus tack eight with animal treat. Tack eight, cat with a three long book with momentous two on two which would be momentous three under commanding aura or affected by tooled up from esters so tack yeah. nine you know you're, you're potentially if you hit with everything and they like they don't have armor and whatever you're potentially looking at nine damage per swing in a magical uh christmas land yeah and the, the one thing uh you can do um, if you've got Tapper, is uh, Flea brings Scum in, Red Furry, Red Furry, Red Furry. Scum activates, Shadow Likes out, charges back in for one, does even more damage. Yeah. I mean, these these all... I know I may not sound it in the tone of voice, but <laughs> these, these are all great bits of theory crafting, and I commend the Brewers hmm. community for sort of... You know, a lot of people have been going, I don't like him, he's quite meh. Um... And a lot of other people are going, well, no, no, you can do this, you can do this, and you can do this. And that's, I think, is really commendable that, like, a whole bunch of people have dismissed him immediately. Um, and I will freely admit, I am one of those. Um, and But a whole bunch of other people are going, no, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. And I think that's kind of the goal that I th- heard um, Perk talking on The Rookie. Excellent breakdown of the errata, that episode, by the way. Um, where he's like, I don't want auto includes and I don't want auto benches. I want some people to like them and get work out of them, and other people to not like them and never take them. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's kind of what we want. And I think, um, of all the guilds around there, perhaps the internal balance of the brewers leads looking at more than anything else. Hashtag stale beer. Um, because for me, there's there's two real issues I I see with Flea personally. Which is who from Hooper Spigot and Decimate am I dropping for him, or is he going in that last slot, which is traditionally occupied by either Friday Mash Stoker for me? In the drop off after after Friday is huge, and the drop after off me using Mash is even bigger. Stoker really only comes out um, against Ox, um, and I don't honestly know who I drop from my 12 for him, let alone who I drop from my 6. I, I think, to be honest, Brewers, it's not so much you're picking your 12. It's kind of you pick the same four squaddies, um, maybe you change your mascot occasionally, and then it's yep. whether, then probably Cork is leading the team. And, you know, that seems to be kind of, that's the top table Brewer lineup. And that's certainly how that's I not... like to play them. Yeah, and, it, and if that's the case, he's not going to bother you at all. Mm. Um, but it, but it's much more kind of our mutual friend Claire. Um, yes. You know she saw he she saw his card and she was delighted. Yeah, and know. I think that's, and, and and also he looks fun. Like there's yeah, exactly there's, there's absolutely no getting and I, and I love the artwork. I love um, this ridiculous scrappy mongrel that he's got next to him on both the yeah. artwork and the base. Oh uh, yeah, that, that that dog is a lovely part of the model, by the way. Yeah, and I like that he looks older than he did in his artwork. Um, when we first mm. saw them a year ago, because of course he is the youngest of the rookies, and yeah, like, like joining up with Tapper and Hooper and Pint Pot is going to age you. Um, <laughs> Have a beer, you're how old? Uh, keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Um, 
you know, I, I, I really like him. I don't. The the big thing I keep coming back to is I feel like I've seen this model before, and that's brain pan and memory. Um, in that I have these two little things that are going to work together, and when everything goes right, it's going to be phenomenal. And then much the same way I look at Flea's card, I'm kind of cool. I've got a no knockdown, a momentous knockdown push, and I look at brain pan, and I've got oh, I've got a momentous tackle on one, which I don't really have in Mort's a great deal. When I use brain pan and memory, they're one activation. Um, and Flea and Quaff and Flea and Scum aren't. And I think this kind of looks to me like all the kind of the, the, the scenarios that people have been describing, whether that's commanding auras up or Esther's put tooled up on him, there's like three or four activations required for the scenarios that people are making. And that's cool. And there will be those turns where you get those three or four activations up. But all it needs is for someone to put a trap next to a to next to a, a mascot, and all of a sudden that plan goes horribly wrong, or for it to set one on fire, or or do you know something to to change that base dodge for the get over here to not quite get people, or as you know someone that uses the cosset charge with dirge quite a lot to get the positioning wrong and that directly towards not quite get the model in, although it is a towards with get over here. Do you know what I mean? There just seems to me to be too many moving parts. I'm going to disagree with you slightly in that Fine. I think a lot of this, a lot of this stuff, is what brewers want to be doing anyway. Because mm. if because if Tap is your captain, you want him in the in the scrap. Fair. You know that's his new position. He is the fight starter. Mm-hmm. Um, he's going to want to commanding aura up. He's going to want to be nice and central to the fight. Yep. You know, Esther's is going to be looking for that thing to tool up that's going to do a lot of damage. Um, you know, I I don't think I think kind of he benefits from the setup that other people are going to get. I yeah. mean, maybe you know, I don't think you're gonna you're going to see people tooling up scum, uh, scum or quaff, um, you know, any more than they do already. Mm. It's a very niche thing, but he's you know he's quite good for that you know that sudden spend of you know for four or five influence for enough for a pile of momentous damage. Yeah. Where you're, you know, where in brewers normally that's momentous pushes or momentous knockdowns. Mm. Um, so yeah, don't get me wrong. I don't think he's going to bother any top any top tier brewers players even slightly. But he is. He looks hilarious fun. You know, he I, does look, I don't want to play I... brewers at all, but <laughs> he, he would appeal to me if I did. He does seem fun. Also, I think I, mean, I think there's a lot to be said for non momentous damage. Um, yes, mm. ideally we all want. A big stack of momentum at the end of the turn but personally the thing i see flea being good at is being a model that that has the combination of get over here and assist like that doesn't exist mm. anywhere else and if i'm let's say quaff's gone and put um pick me up as it's now called on flea so he's tack five flea wanders off to someone get over here pulls in quaff um he goes up to tack five tack six with the crowd out and he's got a non-momentous three on two at tax six. That feels much more value to me than all of the other kind of conditions that people have set up. And it's almost like you can almost have this like little autonomous um, damage team to go and hunt down a striker or something like that. Um, and you can get all the momentum in the world from those momentous double pushes from Decimate or all of the momentous knockdowns that we you know we have in having Guild. Uh, so. I guess what I'm trying to say is like rather than looking at all the sort of the the, the this incredible high end scenarios that we can manufacture, although I totally take your point that these are not ridiculously out of character scenarios for brewers to be do, to be manufacturing, mm. but flea and just flea hitting someone himself is going to get work done, um, albeit non momentously. Yeah, I mean it could be maybe that's how he finds his way in, um, but yeah. yeah. As you say, I think brewer internal balance is slightly suspect. Um, do with so, them. yeah, uh, look, there's no bad models. It's just that mm. these the the this core three of Hooper, Decimate, and Spigot never left my table, um, and yeah. that's at many times. Like I'll go back into brewers, enjoy doing high numbers. Um, seriously, doing you know eleven damage a swing with Hooper never gets old. Um, mm-hmm. But playing the same team every single time does, and I'm pretty I could have just put down different models, but I, yeah, just wander off to a different <laughs> guild instead. Perfect. 
right i think that that'll that'll do us for the young fella um and we shall be back with you again tomorrow oh my god becky look at this beard it's just so 